All right, folks, welcome to 90.9 The Quadratic. My name is Yogi, and I'll be your special presenter tonight for your geometry spring final exam review video number two. What do you say, huh? Should we give, start giving the answers? Guys, on 34 here, uh, which is where we should pick up at, find the area of each triangle round to the nearest tenth. Area is one half base times height. You should know that. I would not expect that in the formula. Use Pythagorean theorem. Remember the base and the height come together to make a right angle. That's how you can figure out what the base and the height are. So it doesn't matter if it's it's nine or twelve, or twelve by nine. Either way, one half twelve times nine is fifty four. Side 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 root two for a forty five forty five ninety triangle. That's one half uh, base times height. You get two hundred. Today we're also brought to you by Big Bone. Big bone, nothing tastes uh, quite as good if you are, you know, a canine as big bone. All right, Yogi's promised to be quiet with that. Anyway, folks, um, th in terms of 34 degrees, we have opposite adjacent. That's tangent, toe it sign, baby. Tangent 34 is 16.1 over x. You, you all right there, Yogi? You're kind of making some noise. x is 16.1 divided by tan 34. You get 23.9. So take 16.1, multiply it by 23.9, and take one half of that. We'll give you the formula for trapezoid. is one half of ba uh, the height times base 1 plus base 2. I'll uh, give you everything you need to know there. The height 16, base 1, base 2. Add these together, folks. Take the product and divide by two. Here you cut these uh, as such. If this is 18 and this is 24, this is six bigger. If you cut it here and here, three and three are shared. This is a three, four, five triangle. The height is four. So you have one half the heights times the, uh-oh, and I see we made a boo-boo here, guys. Good catch, all right. I got 42 because 24 plus 18 is 42. So that should be a 42, which gives you an answer of 84, 84 feet squared. All right, finally here are the kites or rounds. So I will give you the formulas. The formulas are one half the product of the two diagonals. That's five, same tick mark, that's five. Diagonal one is 10, three and nine, 12. Take the product, divide by two, you get 60 on this one here. For rhombus, you got to know that the diagonals, I should have had a right angle here, bisect each other. So if that is 6, that is 6. That means it's 12. If that's 7, that is 12. And that means it's 14. Take the product, divide by 2. You get 84. It's like clear on 41. Find the area of each sector. Leave your answers in terms of pi. Pi r squared is the area of a triangle you, or a, a circle. You might get that. You guys should know that. Talk about 90 of 360 or a quarter of pi. Radius is six squared. That's 36 pi. Take a fourth of it, nine pi square feet. 120 over 360 is a third of pi. Radius is nine squared. Nine squared is 81. A third of that, 27 pi square feet. Find the area of the shaded segments. Round to nearest tenth. You're going to take the area of this whole sector and subtract that white triangle. So you're talking about a fourth, because that's 90 degrees, of pi radius squared minus, you have an isosceles triangle here, all radii are congruent, minus one-half base times height. A fourth of 100 pi is 25 pi. The uh, area of the triangle is 50. Type in 25 pi in the calc. Subtract 50, you get 28.5. I'm going to give the formula for the area of a regular po uh, polygon. One-half apothem times perimeter. I give you the apothem. Perimeter is five sides of 6.8, that's 34. Multiply 34, 4.7, and take half of that, you get 79.9. All right, folks, moving on. Take your time here. I'm gonna give you four of these on your final. You will be finding the volume and surface area. I will be giving you the formulas for those. For surface area of a rectangular prism, it's just two sides of seven by nine, two sides of seven by six, two sides of nine by six, add them all up. Volume is simply length times width times heights. 46, guys, for surface area, you have two triangles that are 12 by 9, one half base times height. In the bottom rectangle, that's 12 by 22. You have a slant rectangle, that's 15 by 22. You have a vertical rectangle, that is 9 by 22. Add them all up. For volume, it's area of the triangular base. One half base times height times the overall height of the prism, 22. Those are your two answers. 
All right, for volume of a cylinder, it's pi radius squared times height. If the diameter is 10, V radius is 5. So that's going to be 25 times 17, 425 pi. Surface area is 2 pi radius heights plus 2 pi radius squared. All right, multiply them together. Just attach pi at the end here, 220 pi. For the cone, you have volume is 1 third pi radius squared times the heights. This is uh, this is 14, that makes that 7, 7, 24, 25 triangle. If you don't know that, Pythagorean theorem for the heights. Um, a third of, a third of 24 is eight. This is 49, eight times 49 is 392 attached pi. You have pi times the radius times the slant height, which is 25 plus pi the radius squared. All right, 224 pi. For the sphere, the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. If the diameter is 12, the radius is 6. So cubed 6, that's 216. Multiply it by 4, divide by 3, you get 288 pi. Surface area is 4 pi r squared. Take the radius, square it, and then multiply it by 4, and you get 144 pi. All right, folks, getting to the end here for the total area of that cylinder and cone. For the cylinder, it is pi, the radius is 5 squared times the heights. That's 525 pi. For the cone, it's 1 third pi radius squared times the heights. It also has a radius of 5, 5, 12, 13 triangle. That gives you the height. This is 25 times 12 is 300. Divide it by 3, you get 100. Add them together, 625 pi cubic feet. Guys, a tangent line makes a right angle, so you can use Pythagorean theorem. 7.7 .7 squared plus r squared is 12.4 squared. All right, you're going to have decimals. Take the square root of this, and your calc, you get 9.7. Same thing with 52. 14.3, r, 19.1, Pythagorean theorem. Subtract 14.3 squared from 19.1 squared. You get uh, 160.32, take the square root of it, 12.7. Tangent line makes a right angle, so that's 90, 67, add it together, subtract it from 180, x is 23 degrees. And for the final two pages, is more about the circle, folks. A chord that makes a right angle here with part of... Uh, and the radius is bisected, so that's 8, 8, that's 5. This is a radius here, so just connect this, make it another uh, radii. So 8 squared plus 5 squared is x squared. Pythagorean theorem gives you the answer. It's the same exact question here on 55. If a, b is 12, 6, 4, that's a radius. Make this a radius. Pythagorean theorem gets 7.2. And on 56, this is, we got the big daddy x here, 4 squared plus, we're going to call this, and Yogi's back with the bone, little x squared equals 11 squared. Get a 10.2, big daddy x, you got to double to get 20.4. 3 times x is equal to 5 times 14. That's how that proportion works. You get 23.3 repeating. We'll give the formula for a circle. Um... Though, remember, it's just the opposites. So, positive 1, negative 2 is the center. This is r squared. Take the square root of 36, you get 6. The center would be negative 4, positive 7. If r squared is 48, break 48 down. You got two pairs of 2. That's going to be 4, root 3. And, folks, the final page. Find the arc length. That is a portion of circumference, which is 2 pi r. Next little thing there, or pi times diameter. 2 pi r is 16 pi. I'm looking at 90 of 360, a fourth of 16 pi, 4 pi feet, not feet squared. Just talking about uh, distance, not area there. 120 over 360 is a third of, this is the pi times diameter, which is also fine. You get 8 pi. All right, so you got to write the formula this time. So it's going to be opposite x plus 2 parentheses squared plus y minus 9 parentheses squared equals 3 squared, which is 9. On 63, you're going to have x minus 4 squared plus y plus 5 squared. And when you square square root, take 2 squared, you get 4. When you square that square root, the 5 drops down. 4 times 5 is 20. And lastly, write the equation of the circle in standard form. Given a center of negative 2, positive 7, so x plus 2 parentheses squared plus y minus 7 parentheses squared is r squared. Plug 3 in for x, add 2 to it, you get 5. When you square it, you get 25. 
plug two in for y, two minus seven is a negative five. When you square a negative five, that's negative five times negative five, which is 25. If you type this in your calc, you're going to get this because you're telling the calc to square five and stab it with a negative. That is not what you want. You get 50, you guys can't have a radius of zero. That would be a single point. All right, that is your equation, folks, and this is your final exam review guide video, 90.9, .9, the quadratic, signing out.